Gemma? Let's do it, day one. Just on my first session back at UP with Evil Steve, and I thought I'd missed it. But I haven't, I haven't missed, well I've missed, I've missed this feeling now because I absolutely love it, but I didn't miss the physical side of it. It's tough, when you've not done it for a while, it's hard. And it's even harder when you've got a little baby at home because you're not sleeping as well as you did. It's great to have Gemma back, it's been a couple of months. Just finished session one, uh, very easy work today, kind of establishing the baseline, what she can do, what she can't do. We set some new goals, loads of new things to work towards. We've had to really switch up my training and adapt because I'm physically not as strong as I was, but also my, my core's still not right. I've got a little bit of ab separation still. Um, my, my hormones, I'm still very soft. With Gemma's body still healing after the pregnancy, um, we started with very light in terms of the weight used in every single session and we're exaggerating the tempo of each lift. On my split squats, as I used to try and just bang them out, it was a case of three, two, one. Pause at the bottom. Hold. Then one, two, three. And you feel like going, <laughs> What this does is it prevents her from bouncing out of lifts. It prevents her losing control. It just keeps her nice and stable. It also allows us to generate more intensity without using greater amounts of load. I know what I need to do. I know that I can do it, because I've done it before. And I've got an even better reason now, because little Mia's at home, so. I'm excited. I can't wait for, uh, for next week's.